This video will demonstrate how to use the power of Google Sites and Google Drive to create an automatically updating school or classroom web page. To get started, let's head on over to my Google Drive. So here I am in my Google Drive, and I've what I did is create a folder structure in my drive. So you'll notice if you look at the breadcrumb trail at the top of my drive, I have this folder called tutorials and a variety of subfolders and documents in that folder. How Google Drive works is that when you assign a share setting to a parent folder, that's this tutorials folder up here, all of the folders inside of it, that's all these folders and files down below, inherit those share settings. So what I've done, I've created this tutorials folder and I've shared it publicly with the world and from there we're going to add that folder to our website so that anytime we update that folder the changes automatically update on our website. First let's take a quick look at how to share this folder. Back up in the breadcrumb trail I'm going to click the drop down arrow to the right of the word tutorials and then I'll click share. In the share settings, I want to make sure that anyone on the internet can find and view. Once I've selected that setting, I'll hit done. Now I'm going to head on over to a Google site that I've been working on. Now that I'm on my school website, I want to embed a Google Drive folder on this website so that whenever I update that Google Drive folder by adding or modifying a document, it will automatically be updated on my website, so I don't have to then go and add it in two different places and forget to put it somewhere. If you look to the right side of the Google site, you'll notice three headings of sections for editing my site. First, we have the Insert, where we can insert items on our website. Second is Pages, where we can add, edit, and reorder the pages on this website. And third is the themes, where we can select and customize a page theme. To embed our Google Drive folder, I'm going to click on Insert, and then look at the section labeled Google Drive. You'll notice that there are two options for embedding Google Drive items. You can click From Drive to pull a specific file and display that file on your website, or you can click Drive Folder and when you click Drive Folder, you'll be able to embed an entire folder from your Google Drive on your website. So we're going to go ahead and click Search and search for that Tutorials folder. Once I find that folder, and it's right here called Tutorials, I'm going to click it once. And then at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice the blue bar with the Insert button. I'll go ahead and click Insert. Now that the folder has been inserted onto my Google Sites page, I can customize it a little bit. First, I notice that this folder is left justified. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the folder and hold and drag it a little bit. And you'll notice that we have grid lines appear on the web page, and I'll just do that until the, page, until the folder is centered. The next way I can customize this folder is by clicking on it again and clicking the gear cog that appears. When I click on the gear cog, I can change the outward facing title the page visitors will see, and I can choose whether to display the folder in list view or grid view. A list will show a list of all the folders, and a grid will give more of a clickable icon, but you'll see fewer at one time. So we're going to leave this one in list view, and then hit done. I can take a look at what this will look like for page visitors by clicking the eyeball at the top of the screen. And here we can see that we can scroll through the list and see everything that is in that folder. I can even see what it's going to look like on a computer, a large screen, a tablet screen, and a smartphone screen by clicking the icons at the bottom of my screen. When I'm finished previewing, I can hit the X to exit the preview. And finally, hit the Publish button to publish my site to the web. Now I'll show you what it looks like when you embed a Google Drive folder on a website that's not a Google site. To do that, let's head on over to one of my school web pages. You'll see on this school website that we've embedded a Google Drive folder for principal's messages. And on the screen, you can see three subfolders. 
And what we do each week is simply in the Google Drive folder, copy and paste the principal's message into a Google document, and then it lives both on the website and in Google Drive. So if a parent would like to view all of the archived principal messages from the school, they simply click on the school year, and they're redirected to Google Drive, where you've shared these as anyone can find and view them on the web. In order to embed this Google Drive folder on a website that's not a Google site, you'll need to edit that site's HTML, and you'll need to know a little bit of HTML code to do so. In the video description below, I've included a link to a document that includes the HTML code that we use to embed both Google Drive folders and individual Google documents on our school web pages so that they can automatically update. Feel free to use that code if it's going to be beneficial to you. This has been a brief demonstration on how to create an automatically updating website combining the power of Google Sites and Google Drive. Thanks for watching.